ask more questions. There are no answers for the questions that are never asked. So, um, head over to my boy's Matt's house, aka uh, DJ Trill McCoy. He's got a pretty nice little setup. I'm gonna go talk to him real quick. Get a couple more interviews. Then we got a show tonight. I got a show tonight, my boy Sham Lee. About to hit him up. Go talk to some people out there. Try and get some more interviews in. And uh, cut this movie up and uh, send it to Campus Movie Fest. <laughs> All right, so uh, can you state your name and profession for the camera? <laughs> My name is Matt Vetter. I am a producer DJ, and my day job, I work at Natty Greens. Uh, I was born and raised here, and then went to Boone for school, and then came back. So you've been here for almost all your life? Pretty much, yeah. So you, you've seen like the local music scene sort of develop over the past couple years or so? Yeah, I've seen it grow up and then uh, the attempts to undermine it recently with the <laughs> noise ordinance or whatever you want to call it. Our illustrious city council has decided that outdoor amplified music at night pretty much just shouldn't happen. So they've decided to uh, limit the noise to 75 decibels people laughing loudly is louder than 75 decibels, just for reference. Um, all the clubs that do music on a rooftop are pretty much screwed out of that, from what I can tell. Um, in this area, you pretty much play at New York Pizza or San Martin's house. There's just not very many places to play. Can you state your name for the camera? Sam Lee. Beat maker, MC. The local music scene has potential. It has a lot of potential to actually be something. It's just that that potential is just overshadowed by the bullshit, really. A lot of the bullshit that comes, I guess, comes with musicianship and trying to do shows and shit like that. Everybody treats it like, you know, like in Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, where you had like. <laughs> You know, like the, the, the purple, like the map will be purple on one side. It's and so it'll be weird. It'll be like green on one side. It'll be like the yellow. And then it's, it's so pretty weird. much, that's how, that's how it just gets treated. Everybody does their thing in their area. And it just seems like it would be a better thing because the city would get more recognition because it's power in numbers, man. And once everybody was able, every, once everybody would be able to work together, then people will start really fucking with the music scene down here. So what do you think about a scene in Greensboro? I don't think that there's enough support from the citizens of Greensboro for the local artists. But I do feel like there's talented people here. There's a lot of lot of different genres here, but once again, like I said, not a whole lot of support. Just stay on your grind and have fun, yo. Because to me, that's what it's all about. It's not about who's the best, you know, because there's no such thing as the best, yo. On some real shit, that's all perspective. <laughs> 